in Queens a few months ago, an illegal alien released by Kamala Harris. She was in charge of the border. Approached two 13-year-old children with a machete in broad daylight, forced them into the woods, tied them together by the wrists and raped them. Injured them terribly, very badly. You know about it. In the Bronx, another illegal alien that Kamala Harris set loose into our country approached a 36-year-old woman while pretending to ask for directions. Ma'am, he said, I'd like directions to someplace. Before he wrapped his arms around her throat, pinned her down on a park bench, and raped her all night and beat the hell out of her. And you know what she said? She said, he didn't rape me, he tried to kill me. That was her expression when the police came. And on Coney Island, a place I know well, just weeks ago, two migrants, Kamala, let in, raped a 46-year-old woman with a knife to her throat. She was badly, badly beaten, probably going to live. For every New Yorker being terrorized by this wave of migrant crime, and I've been talking about migrant crime for five years, I said, if you let them in, it's going to be hell. They are vicious, violent criminals that are being led into our country. They're people that they're countries who are very smart. They don't want them. That's why all over the world, a lot of people coming from jails out of the Congo in Africa. Where do you come from, the Congo? Where in the Congo? We come from jail. What did you do? We will not tell you. They're coming from the Congo. They're coming from Africa. They're coming from the Middle East. They're coming from all over the world. Asia. A lot of it coming from Asia. And what's happening to our country is we're just destroying the fabric of life in our country. And we're not going to take it any longer. And you got to get rid of these people. Give me a shot. You will have a safe New York within three months. Three months. For every New Yorker being terrorized by this wave of migrant crime, November 5th will be your liberation day. It's going to be liberation because you are living like hell. You're living a life like hell. I will launch a special task force of elite federal law enforcement people, many of whom I already know, that are tough, and charge them with crushing the MS-13 remnants, you know, the problem is I got them out and now they come back in. They just walk back in like there's nothing to it. But eliminating MS-13 and every foreign gang and organized criminal network opening up on American soil, they're coming in by the millions, not by the hundreds. They're coming in by the millions. Think of it, probably 21 million people. That's probably a, a low number. We can do all of this and more, but patriotic New Yorkers, must get your asses out to vote. How to get up? Get a gala. Harry, get up, Harry. Harry, get your fat ass out of the couch. You're going to vote for Trump today, Harry. Get up, Harry. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Harry.